Today we are talking about choosing your very first bass. Hey guys, welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. When I got into the music store for the first time to choose a bass, I didn't know anything about pickups, strings, shapes. The only thing I knew was that there is a four, five and a six string bass. And today's topic is about all those features and all those specs. And I hope that it will help you to choose your very first instrument. So the first thing I want to talk about are the pickups because they are so important for the sound of your bass. So I'm going to show you how they look like and how they sound like. So here you can see two single coil pickups, one in neck position and one in bridge position. And you can mix them or you can play them separately. And they create those sounds. Here you can see a split coil pickup and this sound is very similar to a single coil uh, in neck position because it's almost the same position and it creates this old school bass sound. Here you can see a humbucker and this one is really round and sounds more powerful. Perhaps the most obvious thing is the string amount. So a lot of people ask me how many strings they should get at the beginning, like four, five or six string as a beginner. And in my opinion, it doesn't really matter um, if you get four, five or six strings, you should get what you want to play with. So if you want to play a five string bass, go and get yourself a five string bass. But you have to be aware that it is of course harder to mute the strings on a five or a six string bass. But if you want to play that instrument, you are going to learn that. The next thing I want to talk about is scale length. There are four main scale lengths, short, medium, long and extra long scale. Long scale is a kind of standard, so you're asking why should I get a short scale if you have got small hands, if you want to play bass but you played guitar first, it could be a cool choice and also it could be a good choice for children as a first bass. But you have to be aware that the short scale bass will sound a little bit different in comparison to long scale. All the basses I showed you so far had frets and now I'm going to show you a fretless bass. As you can see, these lines are just painted on a fretboard so that you can navigate it. Um, if you have never played this instrument, it could be hard with the intonation at the very beginning. Um, but you can play these super cool slides and it has this round warm sound, almost like a cello. What is also different on this bass are the strings. There are flat wounds in comparison to the round wounds I just played on all the other basses. And they are really smooth and they sound warm and round. I 
hope this short overview about all the specs and features helped you a little bit to choose your first base. If you've got any question left, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. But at the end, the most important thing is that you're happy with your instrument and that you want to play it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.